How are you all? I hope you all are fine. Welcome to our English class. Today we are going to study lesson number three of English. That is a book for my mother. Which lesson? A book for my mother. Now for this you will have to open your English textbook part one. So my dear children, what have we studied in the last session? In the last session. We have studied about English grammar, right? But today we will study about a girl who wants to give a book for her mother. Okay? So before moving towards the poem, it is a short poem. Okay? So before moving towards the poem, first of all, let us see our first point that is rhyming words. Alright? Which is our first point? Our first point is. Rhyming words. Now, here some words are written, and the word that rhymes with that word, with the given word, that words are also mentioned. Now, what do you mean by rhyming words? Yes, my dear children. What do you mean by rhyming words? Rhyming words are the words that have the same end sound. Okay. Spelling may be different, but this end sound, okay? Sound of their end, ending, okay? The ending sound is same. For example, bat, cat, okay? B A T bat, C A T cat. Now over here, A T and A T spellings are also same, and this sound is also same. Bat, cat, okay? So these words are rhyming words. Now. Let us see some rhyming words that are already mentioned in the poem. Okay. So our first word is read. What is our first word? Our first word is read. And what is the rhyming word of read? Now see R E A D read spelling. And then its rhyming word need. N E E D need. Now the ending. The ending sound is same. Alright. Though the spellings are not same. You can see here is ED and here is AD. Okay. But the sound of the ends is same. Like REM also becomes read and NED also becomes need. So read and need. So at the end ED, AD is there but the sound is same. Okay. Next is Okay, now here E E T and E E T are same. Okay, spellings are also same and the sound is also same. So what is the rhyming word for street? Rhyming word for S T R E E T street is S W E E T sweet. Okay, now we can also write some rhyming words of our own choice. Street. Sweet meat. Now here also again E E T is there, right? So street, sweet, and meat. All the three are rhyming words. All right. Now let us see the next one. Next word is day. D A Y day. Now here is A Y, and let us see what is its rhyming word. W A Y way. So here also A Y is there. So A Y and A Y, the spelling is also same and sound is also same. So day, way, okay. We can also add some rhyming words of our choice like S A Y, same, okay. So here also A Y is there. So day, way, and same. All the three are rhyming words, okay. Now let us see the next word. Our next word is smile. Okay, what is the next word? Smile. I L E. Okay. Here is I L E. And now let us see which is the next word which is rhyming for smile. S T Y L E. Style. Smile. Style. And here also the sound of I L E. Though the spelling is different, in place of I there is Y. In place of I there is Y. Okay. 
Okay. Spelling is different, but the sound is same. Okay. So smile, style. Okay. So these are two rhyming words. Now let us. Now what you have to do? You can add more rhyming words of your choice. Okay. But that words should rhyme with this. Next, funny. C N N Y. And money. What is the rhyming word for funny? Money. N E Y. Now here N Y is there and here N E Y is there. Both sound me, right? But what is the difference? Here is N Y. Means the spelling is different. And here is N E Y. So both the spellings are different, but the sound is same. All right, my dear children. So what is the rhyming word for funny? Money. And you have to find more words that rhyme with both these words. Okay, my dear children. Now let us see the next word. Now which is the next word? Thought. Which is the next word? Thought. T H O U G H T. Thought. And what is the rhyming word of thought? Pot. P O T. Pot. Now O U G H T. Ot. Thought. Okay, and O T. Now the sound of these words and the sound of these sound of these letters and these two letters is same. Now you might think about that it is O U G H T, right? But the sound is ot, and here also ot, O T ot. So thought and pot. So both the sound is same, okay? In rhyming words, even though the spellings are different, the sound should be same. Then the words rhyme to each other, okay, my dear children? So here we have done with our rhyming words. Try to find out more rhyming words that rhyme with the given words, okay, my dear children? So here we have finished with our rhyming words. Let us see our next point. That is new words. Which is the next point? New words. Now I have written the new words as well as their meaning. Okay. So we will also read the new words, and I will also explain you the meanings of that new words. All right. So let us see the first word. Which is the first word? Our first word is far away. F A R A W A Y, far away. Okay. Now, what do you mean by far away? Far away means a place that is far off. Now, far away means a place that is not near to us. Okay. Means that place is very far. It is very far. We cannot see that place, and it is very far. Then it takes a lot of time. To go there, right? Okay. So, what is the meaning of far away? Far away means a place that is very far. Okay, my dear children. Next, next word. I D E A. Idea. P O T. Pot. Idea. Pot. Now, what do you mean by idea? Pot. Idea. Pot means a person's mind. Idea. Pot. Now, a mind. A mind has a lot of ideas in it. Right? Whenever we think something, okay, we get new ideas by experiencing some new things, okay, or by watching some new things. And so, this thing by experiencing and by watching some new things, we also get some new ideas. Okay, as a mind is creative, it can create many ideas. And that's why a person's mind is referred as idea pot. Okay, what is it referred as? Idea pot. Idea. What is idea pot? Now idea pot is our own mind. All right, my dear children. Now let us see the next word. M O N S T E R S. Monsters. Now my dear children, by using this word. You might have scared, right? What is this word? This word is monsters. Now, what do you mean by monsters? Have you seen them in cartoons? 
or in any movies or in your books in pictures yes monsters are very dangerous they look very scary and they are very ugly they are not good okay and sometimes they are very dangerous that we are fear of them we get afraid of them okay we have a fear of the of monsters okay so monsters means big ugly scary creatures now monsters are very big they are not small big they are ugly means they don't look good and they are also scary means if i look at them anyone can be scared all right as they don't look good they look terrible okay they are very bad looking creatures okay my dear children now let us see the next word and next word is shell s h e l l shell now everybody here might be knowing about the word shell what is a shell shell is a thing that is used to keep books or something else right let us see what is the meaning of flat board fixed to the wall where one can keep things now shell is a flat board means it is having the flat boards on it it is attached to the wall and we can keep things not only books we can keep anything that we want okay we also have a shelf a book shelf in our school right where we all keep the books so you might be knowing the meaning of shelf okay my dear children now let us see the next word and next word is f a i r i e s fairies what is the next word fairies now fairies means what fairies are the creatures who have wings all right and they can also do magic you might have seen in the cartoons in the movies they are having a magic wand right and they do the magic so fairies are small creatures with wings who can do magic so my dear children have you understood the meaning okay so here we have seen some new words as well as their meaning okay now let us see towards our topic towards our poem let that is a book for my mother now just by reading this topic a book for my mother what do you come to know that a child wants to give a book for his or her mother okay who wants to give the book child and to whom to his or her mother okay my dear children now let us see the poem first of all we will read it and then i will explain the poem so let us read first my mother loves to read on her shelf is a book for every need of fairies ghosts and monsters on the street far away tales both sour and sweet now let us read the second stanza today is her birthday i need to think of a way to make her smile in my very own style let me write a book nice and funny for which i would need no money all i would need is one good thought to cook something in the idea pot okay my dear children now we have finished reading the poem now i will explain you now my dear children there is a girl okay now this poem is about a girl so for this first of all you have to open page number 14 of your english textbook all right and open to the poem okay my dear children so now here a child wants to give the book to her to her mother 
all right so let us see what does the girl wants to gift it is a book then which kind of book a girl wants to give to her mother okay now first of all my mother wants to be on her shelf is a book for every day now here the girl is saying that the girl's mother okay she likes to read the books now as you all know that reading keeps our mind fresh and we gain lots of knowledge by reading different kinds of books right we some books are funny some books are very informative while some books give us extra knowledge about many things some books are about general knowledge also right my dear children so what we have to do we have to keep on reading different kinds of books okay so that we get more knowledge so my dear children the girl's mother was very fond of books she had book for every need means she had different kinds of books okay like books about fairies books about monsters all right and which kind of books ghosts and monsters also okay so the girl's mother was having books of fairies ghosts and monsters too okay now far away tales both sour and sweet okay so the girl's mother was also having the books of different kinds some books were very sweet sweet means they were having a good ending they were means a uh, good to read okay and they were very nice while some books were scary okay that's why they are referred to as soft okay so this kinds of books were there on the mother's shelf all right and her mother was reading all kinds of book now let us see what is mentioned in the next paragraph today is her birthday i need to think of a way to make her smile in my very own style now my dear children as it was birthday of the girl's mother okay so what did she want to do she wanted to think of a way that how how can i make my mother smile all right so she wanted to gift her something or she wanted to make her mother smile in her own style okay she don't want to copy others she wanted to do something new all right my dear children now whenever it our mother birthday our mother's birthday what can we what do we do sometimes we bring, we bring cake we bring different kinds of gifts for our mother right and we also write some good messages for our mother right so this is the way most of the people celebrate their mother's birthday and give gifts some most of the people they give gifts like clothes books or some uh, accessories all right so this girl wanted to do something new just to make her mother smile all right now as she already knew that her mother was fond of books so she might give her a book right a book means she could buy a book and she could give it right but no the girl what she wanted to do she wanted to make her mother smile in her own style means she wanted to do something new so that her mother will be pleased all right so that her mother will be pleased and she will be very happy okay my dear children so what do you think the girl will have written a book yes but she is very small right so do you think small children can write books yes my dear children yeah small children can also write the books okay we just have to think about and they have to write it can be a short book too but even small children can write the book okay my dear children so the girl thought of a new way and what let us see let me write a book a book nice and funny now what kind of book she wanted to write she wanted to write a book which will be nice and funny what kind of book nice and funny she don't wanted to write a book which is scary or which is very having a sad ending all right or there are sad events in the story in the book okay she don't want to write such 
kind of book instead she wanted to write a book which is nice and funny now why did she wanted to write nice and funny book so that while reading her mother will smile and she will be happy all right let us see the next slide for which i would need no money now if the girl is writing her own book she will not need any money now if she wanted to buy a book she will need money right and who will give the money to a small girl right she she need to take it from her mother or father so she thinks of writing a book so that she won't even need money all right my dear children now let us see the second last line all i would need is one good thought to cook something in the idea pot now what the girl is saying that she needs only one thought to cook something means to think about lot of things means if she has one good thought she can think about many things and she can, uh, she can think about many things which will help her to write the book okay my dear children so in this poem what is mentioned that is the girl's mother's birthday and on her birthday the girl wants to give her mother in her own style she wanted to do something new and that's why she thought of a new plan all right as her mother likes to read books so she wanted to give her mother a book but her mother already had the book for each and every need means all the kinds of books her mother was having all right and that's why she thought of writing a book so that her mother will be happy while reading that book okay my dear children and she wanted to write that book in a nice and funny way so that whenever her mother will be reading that book she will smile and she will be very happy and what does she needs for writing a book she needs one single thought okay so that she can think about that and she can explain her feelings or she can write a book on that one single thought okay my dear children so here what have we seen the point right and now let us see where are the rhyming words in the poem now we have already seen the rhyming words from the poem so let us underline it my mother loves to read on her shelf is a book for every need so at the end of this sentence of fairies ghosts and monsters monsters on the street far away tales of summer and sweet so these two now these two words are rhyming and these two words are rhyming same way birthday and way these two words are also rhyming and smile and style are also rhyming now your also funny and money these two words are rhyming and in the last line thought and pot are rhyming so my dear children always remember that most of the time rhyming words come at the end of the sentence in a poem okay my dear children what where at the end of the sentence in a poem so what have we seen today we have seen rhyming words new words and the poem a lesson about a book for my mother in which a girl writes a book for her mother what kind of book nice and funny book to give her on her birthday now why did she did why she didn't bought a new book she has not bought a new book because she wanted to make her mother smile in her own style when she wanted to do something new she wanted to give her mother a book that will make her very happy all right my dear children so this was about the girl and a book for her mother okay my dear children i hope you have understood this session all right if you have any queries or any problem related to this session you can contact me okay thank you